Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the first update for the graveyard project pan i believe i said pretty graveyard pan in the intro but it is graveyard project pan this project started on april 30th so this project is lasting until halloween and you were supposed to pick five to ten products i chose six and there were two categories or are two categories there are two categories there are two categories one of them is resurrection and then the other one is collecting cobwebs. For collecting cobwebs you choose products that are old or are dusty, you haven't used them for a while. And resurrection products are like products that you have had in Project Pants before and you didn't finish. So I had three of each, so let's just begin with the first one. And the project is started by Emily from Emily and Max. I love you girl. So. There you go. The first product I have is my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Concealer. I don't have the most amazing progress on this, but that is because for the first month or so, this was way too dark for me. I couldn't even mix it with anything, so for the last month, I have mixed it with a very light concealer, so it is perfect. I have it underneath my eyes today with another concealer, so... I'm getting more tanned, I'm still pale AF, but I'm getting there, so by the next update, I am done with this product for sure. Let's take the other concealer that I have, it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. I've used this once or twice, I don't think it is going down, I haven't marked it because it's MAC and you know the program if you know Pretty Panning. They don't want marks on their products, but I think I have a picture or a comparison or something. So yeah, this is where I am. I don't know if I can go through this by Halloween, but I will definitely try to just use up half or something. Let's take the lip combo that I have. For the lip gloss for Maybelline, the color elixir lip lacquer, I don't have any progress to show you guys. I've used it a few times with this lipstick, but most of the times I have just used the lipstick alone because it became a nude color because of the lip liner that I'm planning. This lipstick or crayon, it is from Mimi Me, Me, Me. It is the Lip Glide in Playful Peach. And this is how small it is. There aren't that much product and if I'm not careful, it will get stuck in the cap, so it is getting that small, so I can luckily take the this thing off and then grip it here when I sharpen it, because it is getting hard to sharpen. Overall, I don't like this lip crayon that much, so I'm really happy to call this quit very soon. And it is going to be my go-to lip color in the morning time now for when I do the more warmer looks. And those two and the Maybelline concealer are resurrection products and then we are getting into the collecting cobwebs with the MAC concealer. I have the Benefit Hula bronzer and this is where I am right now. I have used it a ton and I hope you can see that I have used it a ton because the pan is definitely bigger. I have no idea what is breaking me out. I am considering it is this one because I am breaking out here where I put my bronzer but I have also thought about maybe it is the foundation that I was panning and right now I'm not using this but I'm still breaking out so I don't know because I'm also breaking out right here and that is very close to where I put my bronzer down here on my jawline so I'm taking a small break to see if it goes down. It is old because I got it in 2014. It is my oldest bronzer. So it might be breaking me out, which is sad because I have not finished a bronzer in so long because they started to break me out. So I have a sensitive skin, if you couldn't tell. The last collecting cobwebs item is my Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner. It's just a brown one with a sponge tip in the end. So this is how much I have. For the first month and a half, I did not use it. And then I just realized it, this will be good as an everyday eyeliner for my auntie um, warm looks because it's brown. 
so that is what i have on today this is the progress this is for the eyeliner but i do think that is for two weeks so i can have some really nice progress in two months and then we have the lip crayon over here i said the goal was down here so the product ends there but that is just in the beginning of the peach cap i don't think the product goes down to there because there is it is hollow hello hello in there but yeah let's see how far i can sharpen it down and then i will call it quit so that is my update for the graveyard project pan i am so excited for this project still because i think it's so much fun we still chat here and there in the group on instagram and i'm so excited to see so many joining us and the group on instagram is filled so we can't add any more people to the chat group which is amazing and i'm so proud of emily who created this and that it is growing so big you know so if you haven't already check out the other ladies there will be a playlist link down below for my videos and the videos that people have uploaded in general so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care